hi guys and um just sorry i didn't film my vlog yesterday like i said i would i would say by now i've just been here yesterday so yeah i'm sorry about that i'm just ill <clears throat> so let's basically get on with this video let's go so it's not have any editing by the way so um and if you hear my old dad barking uh, it's just our neighbour because he's just having some work done in his house and she doesn't really have the noise. So yeah. Um, but I'm pretty sure my dad's brought her in now. Yeah, here you go. Oh. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um let me just get on with this. Um so everything was going funny, you know, the third of November. And yeah, I just woke up, it was a normal day, get ready for school, going to school. And then after school, um, I was just walking home like I always do, um, because I don't live far from where I go to school, <sighs> and, um, when I got home, um, well, that was the only time I walked home, why did I say I usually, yeah, because I walked home for two days, but, um, <laughs> It was really rainy, so I didn't go then, and I still don't go because um, my dad just picks me up now. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, that's the day. Then I, I started walking home, and my mum told me some really upsetting news. Um, I was like, "Are you okay? Is everything okay?" And she's like, "There's not really <laughs> anything." She told me that one of the bunnies um, suddenly passed away. This in the morning and if you're wondering who it was it was my baby honey so yeah rest in peace honey um so like we just thought oh um something must have happened we really hope that um the rest of them would be okay um so on the tuesday um, I just, um, ow, that hurt, sorry, um, so on the Tuesday, I woke up, and I was dreading it, I was really dreading it, and then we saw, um, in the room of the bed, another one died, it was Saki, Um, I was really upset about that. And later I found out that today, Kiwi died. <laughs> and I was really bit proud of that day. Um, but I just didn't know the other two um, passed away uh, because she was right at the back. Um, but we thought it was because of the fireworks. But um, that's what we thought because we didn't do that. Everything was going fine. Um, and then that night, Tiny um, was not acting well, so we took him all to the vets. And everything seemed to be going fine. Tiny was like, he was, they just put him on a bit of oxygen and he perked right up. Um, they gave us some. <clears throat> recovery food and everything was okay um and well at least that's what they thought and then later that night um gave tiny some recovery food because we didn't really think he was gonna make it because he was just too quiet for tiny because he was the one who climbed the fences trying to escape and everything. <laughs> I just remember him having his usual and just climbing um, on the do on the doors. Well, the crazy way I said that, this was the first time I said the door, and he was climbing up it and trying to get out so I could just keep going down. <laughs> and oh my gosh, it was it was so funny. He was amazing. Um, so yeah. So that really upset me um, that night when I found out he passed away. And then in the morning, it was fine. Um, 
but we decided to move him inside because it was the fifth and no, it was the six. Yeah, it was the six. So the bunny started well the first day that Honey Bear was in there. Well the mine's boggling right now, so guys, I'll be getting the dates mixed up but I know it's day. So on bonfire night <coughs> we decided to move him more inside. Um the dad is gonna be fine, we hope. Um, outside, so we got, um, we had to move the mum in because just in case there was milk and anything. Um, but by that time, we lost cutie soft, soft ears, um, and honey and tiny, so there was only three left. Sorry, it's just really hard for me to explain. And that night, everything was perfectly fine. And then, <laughs> big fireworks blast. <laughs> and the mum had a massive um, fit. We tried to have as much of us recording as we could, but um, her back legs were paralyzed. So, that night I had to practice my spellings, but I was, I was devastated. I couldn't, like, I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not. So this was on the first day. Yeah, this was on the first day. What am I saying? Yeah. Yeah, this was on the first day. So I keep getting the dates mixed up because I, I forgot one bit. Let me, let me search this up. And what day was this? Oh, it's this. <laughs> so guys, so yeah, it was on the first day. So if my mind's like, uh, like it's just, I get, I get really emotional when I speak about it. I'm just, no, I don't think they passed away, but like, it just boggles my mind, and it just crazy my mind. So yeah, um, we tried to help as much as come, and um, we tried to lift her head up because it was like laying down, and we weren't able to be able to breathe. So um, we had to just kept having fits, and um, later, like, no, after about ten minutes. She sadly passed away and I was just heartbroken just hearing her there and I was just really upset like Hi Hi I'm doing my makeup Okay And then I have to speed this up Um Actually I'm moving to my other room so I'm like that Look, guys, I have so many ways I know. My room's a tip, so excuse me. <laughs> but if it's terrible, it's just. Um, it's been used as a storage room because I sleep in my other room. Because I just. Yeah, it basically is just room as storage. But um, in the new year, my dad's gonna decorate it into a Harry Potter room and then 
so yeah, be a perfect. Okay, um, <laughs> I just went off course then. Just went off course. So yeah, she died. Um, and I was literally heartbroken. I was like, no, I'm not gonna spell like the card because I couldn't focus. Sorry, I'm really tired. And um, it's just like um, knowing that she was gone and like she was the last um of that head. I was literally just mad when you that we lost in like June. Um, so yeah. That was the last I uh, had of those two. And the three babies and the dad was left. So we decided to bring the dad in the next night. And so, and like, it was going really fine. Um, well, um, so yeah, Friday was fine. Um, and then it came to Saturday night. Um, so there was Mrs. Fluff. Mr. Fluff and the Socky left. Yes, so Socky, Mrs. Fluff, and Mr. Fluff was all survived, survived for so far. And um, yeah. And then that night, Mrs. Fluff was um, quiet on Saturday night. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna have to. By the way, when um, COVID died, the mum, she didn't eat all day, but when I came home and then I put, because I got some cucumber, because um, I, um, I went to the shop, and then I got some cucumber, and she started eating for the third time that day, and I just got so close to work, and then that's why it made me real sad, because I thought, she had a little bit of hope, so that just made me really sad. Oh, I'm gonna cry, I need to stop her. <laughs> Sorry, um, so yeah, let's go back to Saturday. So on Saturday, um, Kiwi died, and I was like, what's Kiwi? Mrs. Fluff died, and I was devastated. And then it came Sunday morning, I was like, please, I don't want it, I don't, I don't want it anymore, please, please, please. And like that's when Mrs. we found Mrs. Wolf. Yeah. Because like Saturday like night she was like real quiet and like we didn't know if she was gonna pass away or not. And we found her in the morning. Well I found her. Cause I was just checking on her because I was, I was like, Oh my gosh, are you okay? So yeah, that's when we found her. Sunday night came and was Sunday daytime and I woke up and they came downstairs. My brother saw them both having a fit and I was just devastated because I knew they was gonna go <laughs> because that's what happened with the mum. And then I have a couple minutes later the um passed away and I was just devastated. <laughs> so um my own brother did every, every everything he could and we really hoped that Clover was gonna be okay. So that night he was being really quiet, but like, yeah, he was alright in the morning and that. And then it came night time, and I was up really, really late because I just, I couldn't lose him. I just couldn't. He was all I had left. Like, I couldn't let him be with the bunny. I don't want him. I Pass away. I just, I just couldn't. So I just let him all night for um, a good reason. But on Monday morning, my mum told me that he was going to pass away. 
and downstairs and I just started past my aquarium I went to school and like all my friends were very really supportive but I didn't really need any support then on the Monday because like I was just I was just I was just upset and like like knowing that last Monday they was fine so it all had well it started on Tuesday it broke my heart because I knew that last Monday it was all fine it was all fine and the week after it was all gone But yeah, I didn't know this, but my mum put the phone down after school. On Sunday night, um, my dad went out for a drive just to get some milk for the morning for our cereal. And he found a stables. And um, he said, my mum. And that's where I keep my horse. Now, they surprised me with the stable and then we had like two, we took like two weeks and I was, and that's why I didn't really have time to video because we was like checking about all these horses and I just didn't want to bother you, um, like saying that, um, until I got the right horse and that and then I got Eric and then I started videoing again a couple of days after, so yeah. I really hope you understand why I've not been filming and that will be all, um, I'm starting um, Xmas, Xmas, uh, uh. well I'm starting on Christmas, yeah I'm starting, oh, what? I'm starting Xmas um, later today, see ya, I hope you have a good, I hope um, you're all um, doing well, remember to Stay safe over Christmas. See you next vlog. Bye.